Hello there guys and gals, the Whale Shedder here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Cubics. Now this was developed and published again by Rafael Valim Fernandez and is usually available to you for £4.19 slash $4.99. Now you would be mistaken if you thought, um, of course in previous um, R RVF games, they would tend to be obviously easy with the easy achievements list. This is not quite the same. I mean, the achievements list is very easy. All you got to do is beat all 30 stages. But, oh boy, this um, little cube puzzler, well, it makes your puzzler sore to think about it. Um, and we'll tell you why. So basically, it is just a case of having to get cubes, um, getting the, the uh, different colors and you know basically completing the levels it sounds easy but it's not uh, it's not so bad like i said achievements wise it's all good we can get this done in a round i know the video is only about what was it 15 16 minutes long or something but the amount of times that you are going to perish means you'll probably get this done in around one to two hours uh so yeah with that being said then i suppose we can just go ahead and da -da -da do it so, on to stage one, as you'll be able to see here, you can press the A button to jump, you've got a black and a white block. You can press the Y button to um, change the character, of course. So the black, uh, the black cube can only jump once, but you can double jump with the white cube. So what we have to do here is put the black on top of the white, double jump up onto the box, and then jump up to the cube. Nice and easy premise, but of course the difficulty does get a little bit more annoying. So. Now we have a black cube that we have to collect, which of course you can only collect with the black cube. Again, very easy premise. So what we need to do then is, uh, with the white block underneath, we need to jump as far as we can with the, the black block, and then with the white block, jump up, and with the black block, there we go, jump up to the next cube. Same, same again here then, so obviously this time we'll put the, we're going to put the black box on top. And then jump up onto the black with the white and then jump up. So obviously, as I said, the premise is simple. White, got to get white, black with black. So onto the next level then, put the black block in the middle. Make sure not to hit these uh, what moving platforms, as it were, because they will obviously kill you dead. So just make sure not to hit those ones. Same with the top here. So with the black block, we'll move it in the middle, jump up and then change. We can then hit the white one, which will change it on. And then we can get the black block the black cube there uh, and I do apologize if some of these levels are quite quick so first of all then we're going to put it you have to hit the um obviously the up arrow try and aim it for the down arrow there and then you should uh, have just enough momentum but it can be quite tricky in terms of how fast the cube can go as well so there you go black block and then with the white block just do the same just make sure not to hit the platforms <gasps> And then on to the next one. It's the same thing, so just wait until the platform is far away. But with the black block, we'll just um, jump up. And again, try and make it down. And then with the same, then with the, the white block here on the right-hand side, you're going to have to wait until the platform is over. And then, um, <laughs> again, sometimes it's kind of lucky as well where you, where you get it. Uh, so just jump up, and then you should be able to, again, this one's very easy, so you'll just be bouncing up and down. So hit the up arrow. Make sure to hit the down arrow and then just hit the block. Now, even if you collect both blocks and you die, you still will have to replay the same level. So just be careful there not to die. So first of all, then with these ones, um, when you are up in the air, it's left to go up and right to go down. And this took me for some reason quite a few minutes to get. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's uh, left. So left up and right down with these ones, and it was actually this level which took me the longest, which was a pain. So, with the uh, black block first then, we're going to put it, and again, you can probably just go straight over, but I decided to just take my time with it. And then obviously, remember it's left up, and then right down, and then obviously you should be able to get the white block at the top there. So, with these arrows, the black block cannot hit the um, black arrows, that means death. So with the white block, you'll have to block it off. So. What we'll do for this then, we'll just obviously continue our way up, make sure, uh, making sure that the white block is continuing to hit the black arrows. Again, just be careful, there we go. Just keep the black block in the way, and then block these top arrows, and then that should be enough there to completing the level. Okay, it's the same sort of thing, but obviously this time we're just going to be heading straight down. So, 
Uh, it's just the opposite way. So again, just block the top line, uh, the, the top row of arrows. Same with the next one, drop down, and then with the white, just drop down and make sure there are no arrows so Mr. Black Blocks can collect his cube blocks. Right, it's the same sort of thing now. The white can't touch the white, the black can't touch the black, so we're going to have to do some double blocking now. So first of all then, we are going to put the black block uh, just on to the right over here. And then we are, I am trying to... There we go. So once we've blocked the way there, we can then continue um, going up. Uh, getting the first one right there. Now leave the white block where it is, and then with the black block, we can jump up. The white block will have to block, again, the, <laughs> the black arrows. And then you should then just be able to jump up when the platform appears. There we go. Right, next up then, again, it's the same sort of thing. So with the black block here, we will um, get rid of the white arrows. So that gives us a little path. Do the same then, sort of uh, give yourself a little jump up. Now, just be careful of these. Um, obviously, when it turns red, don't go into it, because that, again, means death. So once you've grabbed the cube, make sure to get out. Otherwise, you'll have to replay the level. And then it's easy enough then with the white one. Job done. But like I said, make sure that you're in a safe place even when you collect the cubes. Otherwise, it means instantaneous death. Right, so again, black blocks will block the white arrows. And then, now you need to give yourself a little bit of a uh, jump up here as well. So there we go, once that's done and the uh, it's not red anymore, that'll do it. And then with the black one, just wait until it's, um, there we go, until it's not red. And we've jumped over and it's job done. So, on to the next one then. We'll just wait for a minute until it's safe to go through. There we go. Again, we will just wait for the second. And then what we're going to do is jump up and jump to the middle so we block the white arrows. And then with the white box, we're going to obviously jump up to the uh, sort of left-hand side. Again, make sure to not get hit by the white arrows. So jump up and make sure to grab the white cube and then drop back down. And then what you'll need to do then is... Now, I'm pretty sure I almost messed this one up. Yeah, so if you find yourself in that position, just jump up with the black box. But block the black arrows, wait until the red, uh, whatever it is, stops. And there we go. Just make sure to drop down. And there we go, on to the next level. Okay, right, so uh, we're going to be coming into some new categories in just a minute. So what we need to do is jump down onto the black box here, once we've jumped down. Then over to the left. And again, sometimes, because it's so fast, the controls are so fast, uh, it can take a little while to sort of get used to. But once we drop down, then this black square will drop up. Mm -hmm. Then we need to uh, push the black square over to the right one. What that's going to do is actually make another one appear. So there you go, just in the bottom right-hand corner. So just stay here with the black box. Then very carefully take your time. And then you should be able to now just jump straight down since we've just blocked the black arrows and then go to the right there in order to finish. Okay! Right, so jump up uh, onto this middle platform here on the right just to keep the uh, black arrows going. Hit the um, little switch there or whatever it was in the middle. And then obviously block the black arrows again. Then with the black cube, we can jump straight up. Wait until the redness has deceased. And then keep pushing it. You will have to go back out to the right because you don't have enough time. And there we go. Then we can just go ahead and push it all the way over to the left hand side. The left hand side. And then once that's done, the one will appear right in the middle of the redness. So now we can drop down with the white cube. And again, just wait till the redness has gone, and then, ta-da, pick that one up. That will start getting the uh, block down, which means another one will appear at the top. You can grab that, and it is level done. Right, so with white block then, we're going to jump to the left here, and that will get the black box going up to the top. So now we can drop this one, and then, um, so there's one at the bottom. Once we get up to the top there, we can obviously push this to the left-hand side for another spinny, diamondy, cubey pube to appear. There it is on the right. So we are going to, uh, with the black box then, every, obviously we need to make sure that it is blocking the white arrow, so we can just go ahead and pick it up. And that will get this one going down on the left. Drop down, again, make sure to block the black arrows there on the left with the white box, and then pick it up. Job done, again. Right, so with the black box, we're gonna go all the way to the right-hand side. And again, just make sure that you're blocking the white arrows, of course. Wait for the red piping to get away. 
And then again, we'll just have to wait for a minute. Again, it's always worth just taking your time. No need to rush, because you'll just end up getting more and more frustrated. And do stuff like I just done there, like drop down. Because <sighs> I never get guides that just absolutely slam through stuff. And then you haven't got a bloody clue what's going on. And you have to pause about a million times. Anyway, once we do get up into the safe zone, then what we're going to do with the white block, we're going to jump over to the right. And obviously we're blocking the black arrows. Plus we're going to push this... Um, black box down that will get the black cube down at the bottom and just make sure that your white cube is on the floor before going to grab the final one with your blacken boxings here we go right this uh level's not too bad but it can be a little bit tricky with obviously the movement of the block so first of all white over and then we're going to push get black up and we're going to push this block off. Now, we have to push this all the way over to the left-hand side. But again, just be careful. Take your time with it. No need to rush. If you think you're not going to make it, just back out. But what you don't need to do is make chunky movements with the left stick there. Because the amount of times I've done that and died was too much. So, again, just wait. Take your time. And then get this box over to the left-hand side. So once that's done, then we can just go all the way to the right now with a black box. Whee! And we're going to jump up, of course, in order to... Um, so we need to get into the middle here. But again, take your time, and that's fine, just as long as you've got enough there in, in order for us to jump up. So we can jump up, and again, we'll just wait for the second. We'll jump up with the white box uh, in order to block the black arrows, and then just jump to the left. Again, if you want to just jump straight for it, of course, be my chicken breast, my little guest. But it's worth just taking your time and not going nuts. But that is how we complete level 20 toy. Right, so what we're going to do now is with the black box, we are going to um, eventually nip it to the left there. We do need to obviously block the white arrow. So that's what we're going to do here eventually. There we go. We got it. So with the white one. We will now jump up onto the platform, and then, of course, what we're going to do is head sort of up to the top corner of the right. You can see this little blue button here. Um, that, that basically, what we're going to do then is just push this black box off. That's going to bounce it over to the left. But doing, yeah, Mario ain't got nothing on these boxes, man. And then we can just drop down. Again, just be careful there with the white arrows. Um, remember that we need the black box here in order to break the or block the arrow. So put the white cube on the floor first. Then block the white arrows, and then you can go ahead. You are safe. Safer than a safe ding in CF Street, man. And then we can simply just jump again. When the say, uh, coast is clear, we can just go all the way to the right. Job done. See, nice and easy, huh? No frustrations at all. <laughs> okay, right. So let us block the white arrow path, which we're now... Uh, um, oh, in fact... Well, I forgot to edit out that death, apparently. Yeah, sorry. Okay, we'll try again. So, block out the first white path there. And then, with the white block, jump up to the uh, right-hand side. Again, just wait now until the coast is clear. Then we can jump up. We will now, once again, as the black blocks, we're going to jump up and clear the white path. Make sure you've got this path clear as well, so we can push this block down. Which will go, ba-doing, ba-doing, and... skimba blah which will give us both our cubes. Right, now this confused the crap out of me in order how to get back down. So I'll show you. So with the white block, obviously we'll just jump back down to the platform. And then the black blocks, make sure to uh, go onto the platform first rather than the floor, otherwise that means death. Then we can, with the white cube, we can drop down onto the floor, blocking the black arrow path. And then with the black, we can obviously jump, um, jump up to the left, block the way. And then again, with the white one, just be careful. Nip through. Excuse me. <laughs> Nip through. And then that is how we complete that one. Okay, so with the white one here, we're just going to immediately push this block over to the left. That, it, And then we can block the um, black arrows there to the right. Wait until the red has gone away. There we go. And we can just jump up safely. Grab that one. So jump up to the next couple of platforms. Make sure to block the way, of course, with the um, black blocks. Black blocks. <laughs> and yeah, that's how you do that one. So again, we're going to have to be careful with this one. So jump straight down with the white cube. That's going to obviously bounce it over. Make sure that the platforms have gone as well. 
Then the black box will be able to push it down. Wait again until the platforms are there. Um, otherwise, obviously, you'll fall straight to your death. Drop down with the white cube, and it is as easy as that, even though I say that, and it took me at least five or six times. <laughs> right, so with the black box, we'll jump up onto this little blue button, jump onto the platform, jump over to the left. Now, with the white... Um, in fact, you need the black one there to just hang off by the edge, something similar to that. As long as it's on the edge there, that's fine. So with the white one, we can now jump up to the top left, push this box down. Again, wait for the platform to appear, otherwise it's not going to work, and you'll be dead. So drop straight down, and then quick as you can, push this one over, but making sure not to go off too far off the edge. And then it's a simple case then. Wait for the platform, grab it, and then press the A button to jump so you're not deader than dead. Right. White cube, pop it over to the right. Black cube, um, make sure to um, obviously start pushing this down. Obviously, you need to wait until the black arrows have disappeared. <laughs> Uh, drop this one down because we've got the white one there as well. That will hold that one in place Now we need to jump back up to the top left with the black box and then with the white We will jump over to the middle platform and then obviously we're going to try and block the black arrow path There it is uh, So we can just jump down now to the top bottom left with the black box and we can collect the white cube and then it's a simple case then of if we can just push the white the black box over with the white box there, blocking the path, then we should be able to just simply jump over, wait for the platform again to appear. Ta-da! And then jump it over. Okay, let's continue. Right, so black box over to the left, and then a white box over to the top left platform, so we can pop this one down. Push this down, that'll obviously jump all the way over. Make sure the white has blocked the block black path. There we go. Oh, eventually. Come on! All right, there we go. But make sure it's just underneath the black cube there. And then we can go ahead and collect that one. Then we can just simply jump down and do the same with the white one to collect that. We're getting there. I swear down. Right, so with the black one then, uh, we're just going to jump up, block the white path above. And then we can sort of meet them in the middle there so that the black gets up to the top left hand corner. And we can pop this um, block down. And then obviously what you're going to need to do then is just block the way there with the white. Or with the white, push the black box over. That will now pop that one straight up. And that's job done. So um, now what we're going to do is obviously uh, we're going to leave the white arrows here, and then we can just make sure with the black block, the black block to block the white way, and then just push the white blocks all the way over to the right hand side, and this will be completo and job done. Oh, and that was going to be thirty out of thirty. So I got to be honest. Thank you to Raphael for this game. This was genuinely a very really enjoyed this game and it did have a good couple of challenges as well which is all we want as gamers we need to be challenged man so thank you to Raphael. great game uh expect some title updates in the future but thank you so much for watching i hope the guide helped hope you enjoyed the game as well big shout out to all my patreon supporters and youtube members as usual and i'll see you in the next one Big girl